Hey guys and welcome back, my name's NG Paradox. Welcome back to our Tribal Beginners Let's Play where we've gone well past the Tribal era. I think in fact we only have one place that's Tribal now and that is this one. All the rest are now feudal with their lovely castles, giving us a lot of troops. Uh, this is the last one left and apparently they're building something. But we just need to build them a bit more and then that one will be done as well. We could probably finish that off once it's done. So that's awesome. We'll probably try and help them out. But last time we left off, we were in a bit of a precarious situation. Um, obviously, Frankia, the Empire, the damn Christians have declared war on us. And they want Cohen. Now, Cohen, obviously losing that is not a big deal. Still kills our, keeps our borders nice a bit. Well, doesn't make it worse, let's just say. So, I don't worry too much if we lose, but I would like to keep it now. We have this situation here. Now, I could run my 14,000 men in here and help them out. Or, actually, why does it say January? Why does it say January? Yeah, that changed. Okay, 3rd of July. So we could move our troops in, and it looks as though it's 10,000s running away. Aha! Perfect. So we have to bring our men in, then. We can help. We could probably save these troops if we can get in there just in time. If they keep moving away... We've got these 10,000 men down here, also from Lombardy. So I really should destroy these 14,000 men before those Lombardies can get here. Now, I was a bit worried last time when we left off. I wasn't going to move in. I was thinking about not moving in and waiting for them to join. And then afterwards join, when these guys can get there in time. But now that they're moving away, we should be fine. 31st. Okay, we've got this. Come on, my men. You can do this. You can save these warriors of Perun against these Frankian heathens. Okay, something just changed there. Not really sure what happened. Okay, 31st, and there we go. So now we have more men. His 10,000 men are still running away. Lombardy won't be able to get here in time. And we have more men to come and support. Yeah, let's just send as many in as possible, as quick as possible. Destroy these guys as quick as possible. Let's put up the speed a little bit. Um, I also have men off in the east who I should bring to the west as well. So we have more men coming. So I think we might be able to just pull this off. As long as some other things keep maybe some of the other kings busy. Hopefully they face some rebellions or something. Then I think definitely we can do this. We have 2,000 more men coming. Should we wait for them? Okay, I'm going to wait for these men to get there. And then we'll send these 6,000 men together. I think until then we'll be fine. Now obviously we do have Lombardy. Middle Frank, it looks like they're having a few rebels, so they should be fine. Um, Britonniad, they're all the way in Britain, we should be fine. And obviously uh, the Knights of Caltravia. Do you have, yeah, I do have castles. Okay, you're kind of over here. So we should probably, those guys will probably become more men. Actually, how many men does he have? We should probably just check that out. 8,000. Wow, okay, that's a bit more than I expected. But yeah, we defeated this army, that is done. How about you guys go join? If you can, you might even be able to get them in time. Nope, we've just won. Excellent. So how about you guys stay there for one second? You guys actually go here. Now, I don't know where those Lombardy men went, which is a little worry here. But I would love to destroy this 10,000 men. Now, they're going to go to... They're going to Bruns. Is that? Oh, here. So they're running off this way. Are they all going that way? 2,000 men are going that way. So we're going to Munster. Um, so we're going to Thuringian. Okay. Most of the men are going to Thuringian. Now, I know I might be saying these names wrong. I really apologize. German is not my strong point. How about you stay there? And you actually just move in there to reinforce them. They'll jump in. Um, we'll then wait for them. And we'll attack the 10,000 men. And hopefully we can see where Lombardy is. But destroying all these men would be really good for us right now. That puts in a great... Actually, maybe I could go to uh, Brunswick. Yeah, let's go to Brunswick then. Let's help, check, let's help take out the rest. Oh no, that's our allies. I'll run in there. I was not paying attention. Austin back. Okay, all the enemies are just going over here. So that's fine then. Okay. Surprised they're not following us. Maybe they're, oh, they're going to come in and join us. Okay, there we go. That should take care of them. 11,000 men. You don't even have to join that. Just go down there. See if you can take this. So hopefully after this war, then that will keep the Frankie off my back. And also Frankie, he's a very old man. Uh, Ogier. 
Nubulinjing. I don't know how to say that name, but his son, I had a look before he started, is a bit of a craven. But he's ambitious, but he's a craven. So maybe he might stay away from us. He might not be as war-hungry as the last few Frankians. With 2,000 men up here, I probably want to go and destroy these 10,000 men. So I'm going to I'm going to follow these guys, destroy them, and we're going to go to the 10,000 men. Okay, he's not going to come in and join. Oh no, he is. What's this on? Planes. So on planes. If he goes and attacks them, I will go finish him off. When's he going to get there? 20th of September. Okay, we've got ages. They'll defeat them. He's still going to go attack them. 28th of September. We could actually escape, which is pretty nice. This is a much better area as well, planes. 2,000 men are coming. We've got 16,000 men here. Lombardy's now come with 10,000 men. The fight's not done. We've done well so far, but the fight is definitely not over. Okay, that's it. Bring your men. Now I'll cut you off, hopefully. 9th of October. Oh, I'm going to get them in time. If I send my men back there, he'll probably stop. Yep, he's stopped now. Let's go destroy these men before Lombardy can join them. That's what I feel like. And how about you go join them? When will you get there? The 10th of October. You'll get there on the 13th. Okay, let's wait three more days. We're four. Let's wait to the 7th. And then we'll send them in to join them. Looks like these guys are going to jump in to help. Um, these two should be able to handle that. Probably just. These guys have low morale. But just in case, I'm going to send these guys as well. And then we could probably get rid of Frankia and Lombardy in one fell swoop. Yep, he has 11,000 men left. How about White Peace? I really just don't want this to go on. Nope, no White Peace. Okay, well, if I win, I get a lot of gold. That'd be perfect. We can rebuild that last place, the feudal. Uh, he loses piety, prestige. I gain piety. Excellent. We want that. We gain a tiny bit of prestige and moral authority. We have 100% moral authority. The Slavic religion is all-powerful right now. But with that low morale, that should be really good for us. Even with 13,000 men coming in, it's only on planes, so we should be fine. 31st of October. That should be good. 13th, they're going to get there on the 14th one of them, then the 23rd, then the 31st. Excellent. We could probably destroy these before they even get there, because once maybe these join, they won't want to join. Actually, they join at the same time, actually, I think. Actually, they get there first. Okay. We have more men. Then they'll join. We can destroy them all in one go. This battle is ours to lose right now. And we've got them on the run right here. Okay, they're going to join in one second, but they've lost so many men. They probably don't even need these guys. There you go. And that is the end of the war, I think. There we go. We managed to outmaneuver Frank here. As usual. Now, I expect him to be able to give me white peace. He would not do even white peace. Come on, you pansy. Fine, you son of a... Okay, if you're going to say that to me, I can't take that line down. No one calls... No one calls... Your fimmy. No one calls your fimmy a pansy. I'm possessed. I'm a bit of a craven, though, but I'm possessed. I'm crazy. You do not mess with a crazy man. So they're all going to Thuringian, it looks like. Okay. It's a bit confusing. Not all of them are moving, it looks like. The knights are not moving. Lombardy's not moving. Those are the two main groups. Um, I guess we'll go to Thuringian. We'll see where the rest go. Okay. The knights are going to Thuringian now. Everyone's going to Thuringian. Okay, we'll send the 2,000 after them as well. 3,000. We lost a lot of men, it looks like, actually. More than I expected. I think now we'll go and take Paris. Yes. I think that'll be the next thing we'll probably try and do. Is he leading his men? Yeah, he's leading his men in mains. Or main. There we go. Caught them. They now join them, and we can just destroy them. Perfect. Things went pretty well. I think we're going to send these men off to Paris. Probably a nice thing to do. 
Could always drop off at middle Frankie, just destroy him a little bit. But nah, I kind of like having middle Frankie. It kind of makes Frankie a weaker right now. So I don't mind having them around. Got engine. Let's go after them. Okay, you go down. Basically, the warriors are proving they were what keeping this army big. Okay, we go north, then we can attack the knights as well. This is definitely over. I can't see them coming back from this unless there's some hidden army. One of his allies suddenly comes from nowhere. Now, how's Lombardy? How many men do you have? He only has 3,000 men, and he's facing a bit of a revolt, which is great. To lower crown authority. How is Frank here? Right now, no rebellions. He's at the moment in Paris. So that's great. I can go straight to Paris and take him out. Oh, middle Frank here just finished their wars. He has about 5,000 troops somewhere, apparently. So somewhere there's some 5,000 troops of theirs. The warriors of Perun will take Paris. We'll send these guys to go help as well. I completely forgot about these guys. <laughs> we had 7,000 men just waiting. How about you go to them? And we can maybe use you. Might not even need you. Which would be great. Now we're going through the forest. Losing a bit of a... Bit of attrition. These guys should be fine. You need to be careful. I don't want to suddenly see a massive stack up here. We gotta deal with the auto save still. I really just don't I just don't enjoy Iron Man. I mean Iron Man's great because it kind of, you know, it's auto saves it. I mean, but I wouldn't go back anyway. So I, I guess I, I personally for me, I don't feel like I need to use it. Um I wouldn't go back, you know, do a save scumming or whatever you call it anyway. So I don't really need Iron Man, but I guess it's kinda of nice the way it kind of proves to someone else you didn't do that. But I don't know, it feels a bit annoying, because it constantly has to do that, especially if you want to just go quickly through stuff. Now, we're losing men to attrition, like I said, but I want to go and take Paris. I want Paris. I only need 12,000 as well. So our men are all charging through, while our men are heading to Paris. Excellent. Paris will fall. Let's go destroy the middle Franco army. Nah, actually, you know what? Let's not do that. Like I said, let's not do that, actually. Let's leave them. Leave them be. Like a bumblebee. And we'll send these guys to uh, Bamberg to take that. And yeah, what, what is this then? The Kingdom of Norway. I'm going to call it Norway, just I can't be bothered to call it Norg. Norridge. Because I don't know how to say it. There's a little Kingdom of Holstein. That's nice. Cute little Christian Kingdom of Holstein. How's a Pannonia doing? Were you able to hold off your enemies? Bavarian Holy War, Bavaria's winning. And revolt against the rule of Pomerania. Okay, so you managed to, I think, defeat Teutonic Order? Did you? I don't know. He's a lunatic, though, but yeah. Did he defeat Teutonic Order? I'm gonna guess White Peace, because nothing seems to have changed. So either. I can't remember who was attacking who, though. But yeah, hopefully he can hold off Bavaria. Actually, I don't think he can. 10,000 men. Yeah, I don't think he's going to be able to hold them off. Hopefully I can finish this war, and then I can go join him. Strong Pannonia is a good Pannonia, I think. They should be able to take Paris. Oh, perfect. There's hardly any men there. Excellent. Just need to wait, then. You don't even need all the men. It's like the warriors of Peru and are going off on their own. Don't want to be part of this. Okay, fine. Now we've got some more men starting to appear. So let's go back. Take out these knights. Send the 2,000 men. That's fine. A small group. These guys are taking this. Yeah, it's fine. I don't know where the Warriors of Perun are going, though. I guess because our lands are getting attacked and because we're defending, they feel that's more important, probably. Which makes sense. Um, Holland's there. 
We're taking out the knights now. We'll just assault that. Oh, sh we don't have exactly 10,000 men, so I'm going to lose a lot of men. I thought we... I, I assumed there were so few men we like 10 times. We didn't really, but we basically did. I, I lost 900 men. It's worth it. <laughs> it's worth it, I think. Okay, so we took that. So Paris has been taken. The capital has been taken. We have Melun. City of Paris. Okay, so we're trying to take the city of Paris now. Okay, so we're taking the city now. Okay. Um, what to do with you? How about you go down here just in case? Now the warriors of Prune are not with them. I kind of just want them to go just in case. Yeah, Pannonia is not doing okay there. How about we have White Peace? He would accept of a White Peace. So he would lose prestige and piety. Really, the only reason I'd want to win is I gain gold. Gold and piety, really. That'd be the only reason for me to try to win. But do I really need the gold? I'd have to go all the way to 100%, which seems like quite a lot. Hmm. I've got my own things to do, so I, I feel like we should just get out the war. Yeah, I don't think the money is that important for us right now. Yeah, let's just get out the war. Let's get out the war, help Pannonia, and deal with expanding. Because right now we can't get any land, and we're in a good position to start expanding our land. So that's white piece. We did a good job. We managed to hold off Frank here once again, as usual. Okay. Send all the men back. Okay, the Holy War is over. Excellent. One day they'll bow down to me. Okay, Bamberg would be nice to get. De Jure. Okay, we've got that. I guess attacking them a lot at the top would be quite a nice one. These are all small, though. They're too small. I want some bigger. Unlanded sun. I'm sorry, sons. One claim for a piece of land. So right now we don't have many claims, but I could go for Holy Wars. So the question is, where would I want to go? I guess right now we should offer to join his war. Yeah, I think we want to join that. But before that, will these guys accept... Nope, he's in the war as well. He's going to give them vassalization. I thought I could offer to join the war and I wouldn't have to get rid of my men, so that's good. Ah. Except for Crusaders, Jihads, and for supporting their claims outside your realm. We cannot join our vassals' wars. He's not our vassal. What are you talking about? We cannot join our vassals' wars. Crusades, Jihads, and for supporting their claim outside their... What? Why is he my vassal for some reason? Okay, maybe it's because I had my troops raised. Let's, uh... Let's get rid of the troops then. So I know you can't declare war if your troops are raised. So is that what is happening? Is it just not telling me that though for something stupid? Oh, it's... Are you bloody kidding me? Okay, this is... So sometimes I, I don't even know why I even bother thinking. <laughs> it doesn't seem to work. <laughs> 